Danish again and you must be thinking why is he standing outside um, in the course uh, because it's a router course why can't we just could jump into the router well you know because when we are gonna do things we want you to kind of follow what we are doing so you're not confused so what we're not going to discuss in this course is when wide area network different type of connections and as a junior system administrator you're not going to be configuring this stuff in most cases now if you do we would ask you to probably take some type of CCNA course that course go in detail about WAN connections basically what I talk about WAN is like uh, in the companies when we talk about WAN usually you would call some company Verizon uh, Comcast or any other vendors out there that specifically provide internet connection to companies or like for example you you're at home you call the Verizon somebody came to your home they got the modem or they whatever technology they use at this time because this changes all the time you will see the routers if they have connections where you get you, you get the connection from a vendor usually it's basically changing all over you can now use ethernet sometimes you can use fiber sometimes you can use some other cards and that's something you can discuss in ccna course go in detail or you can go to youtube and type WAN connections type of WAN connections because that's out of our scope um just a quick uh scenario just to cue you guys what we are going to use how our um, system is set up we just have a basic connection at your home so you're going to be using the same way so i'm going to show you that right now how my house setup is uh, you know verizon uh, fios i'm using fios with verizon um, and how they gave me the connection so i'm going to show you that and then we're going to go into the routers configuration initial configuration afterward when we discuss some few uh, basics about routers so let me come and stop this I call Verizon, hey, I need a connection from you guys. They're like, okay, this is how much you're charging and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, we're sending a technician out to your house. We got the connections and everything. Uh, he's going to be there tomorrow. He comes in, he, he does everything in the wall, um, whatever underground things they do, they do it. We're not discussing that. In the same way, your company, they will do that for you they will have connections ready and when they come in they'll they'll plug all this stuff in we're not talking about this stuff just at this moment you think that you're getting hired and this stuff was already done by planner designers cisco designer whoever is your networking uh, engineers they design this stuff everything is ready to go then there will be a modem or some type of connection in your company like i said there's totally different type of connection there's 20 mbps t1 there's there's 100 mbps there are fiber there are a lot of different way ethernet directly ethernet there's no circuits or anything like that no csu dsu things like that everything is done you just get the ethernet and bam everything is working like i said we're not going there don't get confused we got the connections here my connection is coming over here go to the modem it does its thing and it also provides everything inside this one modem so it does its routing in there everything is configured for me and then there's ports right there you see right there I can plug this port this is going to my PC the another uh, port is going to another Wi-Fi device whatever I do from here is probably your job right there like you will have a connection now in most cases your network administrator or your network engineer would have done all of this stuff. What we are going to do in this course is we're going to start from this area. We got the connection, everything is ready to go, and now we are going to configure basic configuration for our routers and switches. So we want you to learn this stuff. So tomorrow, if you had to, uh, if you have an ability or someone come to you, can, can you set up a small office or you want to start your own business like this, then you can do something like that and then if you want to advance your career then you learn more now that's home type of routers like where they have configured everything for you you plug in and everything is done for you you log into the routers and all everything is dhcp basically you get an ip address automatically basically you don't have to do anything it's like that but if you want to you log into the router right for home routers, when you connect, basically you put the IP address and this is something where you will find what is the IP address of your router. If it's Verizon, then this is the IP address. If it's something else, you just need to find that. You get that IP address and you as a home user or administrator, you log into the router. Now a lot of people will ask, okay, 
where's the password? Usually they come with a default password. When you buy this stuff, they will give you a little small sheet or something and they will have a password on it or on the router right here on the right side or any other router that you guys are using. You need just to need to see the manual and they'll have like right here, this one has a password over there or sometimes you gotta go online and find a default password for those routers. You put the admin and the default could be either admin router it's nice graphical interface so easy to set up you basically log in and then you see what computers are connected what type of connection you have from your Verizon it's right here uh, and it says connected connection type is DHCP where you automatically get IP address you don't need to configure anything and that's what, what I wanted to discuss that how basic home uh, network is set up versus what we are going to set up and we'll discuss a little bit about that to discuss the network and where you are going to be working as a system or any IT person, usually it comes to this part right here, uh, network home slash office, and that's LAN basically, where you have one building, two buildings, and they're connected and you're working in that. We're just going to keep very simple because you're working as a junior system administrator. We're just going to talk about LAN and what's in it. And that's where our focus is going to be. As you see on the bottom right here, broadband connection. This is something that you don't configure. And most of the companies, same thing. When they give you an IP address, when you get the connection, they do the configuration for you. And they give you one Ethernet or whatever type of connection that you're using. They give you that, that hey, this is your connection right here, sir. And after this, it's your job. So they're, they're, they're done here. They connected it. It will say connected. You got the Internet. And most of the home business areas when you uh, are doing a real uh, networking, this will not be configured. This is something that you will be configuring. So when I click on my home and office, like I said, these routers are automatically configuring IP addresses and everything and DHCP servers turn on. This is what I was talking about, that it already have everything for you. Now, you as a junior system administrator, you probably won't be doing this stuff. This is mostly, uh, you know, if the company has tiers and they have different type of uh, IT guys in there, this is mostly network engineer who have Cisco or like, you know, networking experience. Most of the time it's Cisco devices in the companies. Like, you know, you will have one router, one switch, two router, two switches, or it can go grow all the way down. So that for that, you need Cisco level uh, experience and uh, to configure this stuff, subnetting, and even for administrator, system administrator, it is kind of very important that you know this stuff because you will be working on these things also when you do servers, configuring servers, uh, DHCP on a Windows and stuff like that. And all you, you're basically troubleshooting with a network engineer at the same time, you should know this stuff. So that's what we were going to discuss in a very basic level um, to do our own uh, networking on the Cisco routers. So I guess what I did this part is just to kind of give you an idea. If you're brand new to a networking, so I wanted to show you what you have at home versus what you're going to be having at office if you're trying to get these jobs in, in a real world scenario. So let's talk about routers in the, on the Cisco level. So here I have a very old router from Cisco. Cisco 1700 and that's basically um, a router that you will be configuring it's they're not gonna come out of the box and say hey there's the router like the one behind uh, has the ports in it it's advanced stuff like that this is something that you will get at, at your office and they'll give you this and you know what we bought this or they might already have this because most of the time if you're a junior system administrator that we're transitioning from help desk they will already have this so you just need to know how to get into this router um, and how to do basic configurations so you can start learning on these things and start troubleshooting with your uh, network guys or anyone else that is going to be in charge of this stuff the back of the router, as you guys can see the model, this is something that we will not discuss, the T1, this is where you get the connection, right? And then you have the fast ethernet. Usually now routers have two um, fast ethernet or now gigabit, they have two of these, they don't have one. Um, it's limited because you know you can't do too much with one. Um, and then you have the console. Right here is the blue cable that we will discuss a little later on in our second lecture when we do the initial configuration, we're going to plug this router in console cable into this and to our computer and then we will use uh, tools that we will also discuss and to get into this router. But just wanting to show you how routers at office 
and this is a very small office that might have this type of router uh, as you guys can see it's small it's not noisy it's very very light as see you I can shake it and everything